Welcome back to Iabu, Masters of the City Buggers. Um, every time I see the intro to this game, I've seen it twice now, because the second time I've opened it up, it just makes me laugh, and I just can't take this game seriously. Good guys destroyed their world, but failed. And how are they good if they destroyed their world? I'm sorry, it just doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, let's attack this place. I guess I just have to conquer all of these and get to the end bit. I'm hoping the game will get a bit more interesting than this later on. I assume it will be because this is just the introduction bit. Okay, and uh, do I need to build- oh no, go there! And construction, let's see what I have to- con I'm building a tavern, so that's all good, now let's end that turn. I don't like how this- you move when you end a turn, you can't move during a turn, you have to- tell them to move and then in turn it just it feels weird to me uh, I could negotiate with these guys apparently let's just kill them all some archers thieves and some warriors yeah sounds about right you can go you can go right there because you're gonna die straight away yeah, here, here, and we'll get the um, the shitty militia in my front rank to absorb all the pain. I'm sorry, but those thieves just walk like idiots. They look like they got something stuck up their ass or something. I don't know. Let's see how far can they move. Um, they can move quite far actually. The if I get two guys here... You can go... I, I'll, I'll flank one way. This guy can get killed by the thief. And then the spearman can back him up. When he inevitably dies. Do I have to be next to heal? Do. And you can back them up. There you go. Send that turn. Healed. Oh no, he's attacking my spearman, the bastard. They're all attacking the spearman, not the militia like I hoped. Right, so first of all, let's. There we go, some pain there. And we get this militia man to finish him off. Now, how much. Right, let's range these guys. May kill. Range him. Two to four. We'll kill him. And then we'll move the spearman up. Oh, we can just range him. There we go. Now it's healer can come over here. And next turn, hopefully, we'll be able to hear this, heal this spearman. Now we'll end the turn there. Okay. One to three damage, that's quite pathetic. Now you can come here. No! I want to heal! Come down here. And you can go in the woods right there. And you can go right there. On that turn. They can still shoot. Well, that's rubbish. Right, he's dead. Will kill. Okay, before I kill him, I want to heal. Okay, now we kill this guy. I don't know why his spears are glowing. They just are. There we go. Lost two militiamen, and some of my spearmen got wounded. Um, let's go... Defensive. Defensive. Give me your hit points. Brow, I don't know why. No more brow. Yeah, cause, just cuz. Okay, we'll attack there. And we'll see what else we can construct. Oh, I can, uh. 
There we go, let's build that for no apparent reason whatsoever. Because may as well, right? And then let's me do all these spells that, so let's build that as well. Okay, let's put that. There we go. Back to the map. And we'll end that turn. We'll kill some more people, then we'll get some more troops and we'll continue this. Uh, see what the negotiate does. Um, the tribal chief, dress the hero. You have entered the leaders of our land. Now you prey on the clan. Now you're dead. You better. Uh, I better drop by some other time. Now you're a dead man, savage. Can't negotiate with them. Because they're savages. Do not suffer the savage. Let's get you on the front line. Let's get the healer right behind. You there. In fact, no, it's you on the rear line. And get militia on the front as always. There we go. Troop deployment. That's right, you walk at me, you barbarians. First of all, let's get this healer to heal this fella over here. Stranger isn't some sort of benefit to having the healer in your army always, like, you heal faster or something, but hey. Right, they can't quite reach my lines, but next turn they will. They get just one turn away. So that means next, I'm going to wait one more turn. And then I'm going to launch my attack. And then that happened. Okay, first of all, range. He's berserk. Can I range him again? I can't. I'm just out. Let's get on that hill and punch him in the face. Or poke him with our thing. Now, let's see. Can we go here? Can we range him? No, we can't. Now, what you're going to do is going to heal the militia man, and now he's going to run forward and hit this guy. Will kill. There we go, he's dead. My, and me, me and my wonderful, strange ginger hair. Uh, anyone else? I think I've moved every unit. No, I haven't moved. I haven't moved him. It's in that turn. Right, on a range attack. Well, they really don't like that militia guy, do they? Okay, let's move there and finish this guy off. And now let's advance up. Can we? Oh, we may kill him. Oh, he's one off. Um, who haven't I moved? Him. Move up. There we go. Let that turn now. And ow, he's badly hurt. Will kill. They're finished. I should have healed beforehand. Never mind. It's all done. Got some money. Have some hit points because Jack. Construct. Why not? Right. Let's let's go further. Let's continue my attack. Oh, lizard man lands. I'll get this town and then I'll get some more troops and I'll take the lizard man lands because they sound cool. I want to go and punch the lizard men in the face. Negotiate. Um, the militia leader addresses your hero. Well, you know, we don't no want no war. If you and our mayor come to terms, we'll make an oath to your lord. I'll tell you, are you fine and good as it should be? But you know, our mayor, he's a real miser. He'll wash no less than 300 coins for a contract. Our settlement needs money, you know. <sighs> well, bugger him. It'll be cheaper to kill you. That. And what we got? We got two spearmen, some militia, and a slinger. They're not going to have a good time. Oh, I can heal. Let's heal this guy here. And let's end that turn. Spearman walks up, punches my guy, gets sorted in the face. What did he expect, really? 
will kill. I want a will kill. Even though it'll stop this guy from getting an attack. I'm cool with that. It means I can get an attack off on this guy. Move forward. Damn, that means you'll get an attack on me. Damn, did not think that through. I did not think that through. I should not move him here because he will die next turn and they can attack my healer. That was a very foolish move I just did there. He got two to moves. Rubbish. Okay, let's move my guy here. Let's kill, mate. Okay, we'll get you here. We'll get the healer here. We'll move this guy forward. We can't quite kill him, but we can kill this guy. Now we've just got the slinger left. Let's heal my... There we go. Oh, he's an enemy! He's an enemy! I thought he was one of mine. They're the same buddy colour. Does that sound racist? And we'll move here. Continue moving forward. But up, um, get the healer to retreat for now. Get right there. We'll end the turn. Right, and we'll finish off this chap. There you go, you silly slinger. I lost the militia man, and that was all. Let's get you some hit points. Let's get you some hit points. Now I'll head back. Get some more troops, as it were. Unless I can recruit where I currently am, I doubt it. No, I can't. So I'll head back, get some more troops. Rebuild my army. Because it's looking a little bit light on the soldier front. Maybe get some archers in there. We'll end that turn. So we can construct. These are all tier. I see these are tiers then. Um, I guess different tier buildings give me different abilities. Let's see. Boring stuff. Fair wind, slow, haste, air shield. <laughs> and some magic stuff. Let's get the magic stuff one. Then we get that one there, and then we can do the Sorcerer's Workshop, which I won't use, but I'm going to build for shits and giggles. And then that turn there. Construct. Let's get some more troops here now. Crossbowmen? Where the fuck did they come? Oh, they're mercenaries. They're expensive as hell, though. That's the thing. So what we're going to do is going to get a slinger or two. There. There. Fill the rest of the ranks up with militiamen. And then we'll get another, uh, another chap there. And let's kill some bloody, what they called it. Some bloody lizard men. I've got crossbow on my back. I'm guessing that's just a model though. Since I can't actually use crossbows. Go! The hero Nestus has entered the crab shore. The totems encountered on the way clearly indicate this land belongs to the tribe of lizard men. And the skulls impaled and severals reveal they don't like guests. Soon a party of natives appear, numbers four. Uh, I can kill, beat that easily apparently. Let's see what the lizard men are like. Oh, I wanted them to be blue, like the guys out of Warhammer. Never mind. Get the, uh, oh, not you, the uh, militia on the front line, as always. We'll get some speedmen over here, because I do want some slingers over here. I've got two ranks, better than one. And we're going to troop deployment. Right, first of all, slingers, fire a volley into him. Let's 
Now, my brave, brave militiamen, sacrifice your worthless lives to me. Because you are all friggin' worthless. It's it's just a fact. Now I'll move forward with my actual proper troops. Uh, you can go there for now so you can heal this guy. I'll end that turn there. Yeah. Punch in the face. That's what they deserve. Go there. You. Heal my main chap. I should really heal, heal him, really. Okay, he's dead. First we'll archer this guy. I mean, I mean spear. That's it. Victory. Let's go. Offensive tactics. Hit points. Uh, stamina. I don't even know what I'm doing. Don't know how the mechanics of this game work. Mermaid rocks. Local militia. And I can just walk across the sea, apparently. So that's all cool. So let's walk across there and show these guys what we're going to do to them. I don't imagine it'll be nice. Let's end that turn. Uh, let's see, I could bribe the guard for 120. Or... Oh, they've got 10 enemies. Do you know what I say to them? Let's, let's, let's just kill them all. Because death is a better alternative to communism. Does that work here? I don't think it does. They can only move one. So let's move my army forwards. And forwards. You brave sons and daughters of my future empire. They're all, su they're, they're all men. They're all sons and daughters. But hey, what are you going to do? I want to end that there. Yeah, slingers, we get the point. You can take like a single. How can those slingers get to move twice? I'm going to have to retreat that in there. So. Let's hit him. Move you forwards. And I need another volley there. Hurt him. I'll move you forwards. The healer can heal this guy. He can heal himself. Good. I'll move you forwards one. Okay. They don't really stand a chance, do they? Okay, so. First of all, let's attack you. Finish you off. Focus on this guy down here. Finish him off. Poss oh, didn't quite finish him off. Shame. There we go. Yeah, let's finish this one off. Um, now we'll line up here. So when the militia fall, we can take their place with the my spearmen. Um, who haven't I moved then? Ah, these guys still got movement left. Can I tab it? No, tab doesn't. Select different ones. You can heal yourself again. He's dead, finally. Took his bloody time about it. Spearmen are advancing. Right, let's 
get him right there. Right in the chops. Get him again. This fella, you can... Oh, let's range him. Start off by doing that. Let's finish this one off. Save my spearman from dying. Now I've got one militia guy and two archers and um, two slingers left. I think that's pretty much it. Let's end that turn. Right, let's kill him. Oh, he survived. The little cheeky bastard. And he can't move anymore. This guy can. Let's move him. Let's move the healer down there. Hope to get this spearman. Now let's pass that turn. Wow, they're trying to move into close combat with me. That does not sound like a good idea to me. And I'll finish this guy off. There we go. Go plus one to morale. Come a spearman. Um, counter attack. Yeah. Counter attack. But I've got an extra spearman here. Excellent, you've conquered your first territory province. To defeat your enemy, your, uh, well, look I've conquered many other places. That special one? Because it had a bigger army. Or was it because it was the one owned by the enemy land? I don't know. Um, you don't have to conquer all of his lands. Conquering stronghold is enough. This works both ways, though. If your stronghold falls, falls, you are defeated. Um... I got enough guys, let's just let's just attack. See how much armies I got. I got enough for three more troops. I'm gonna go back and get some more militia actually. Okay, we'll pass the next turn. And there we go, right click. Move this guy up here. I clicked on the wrong thing, didn't I? Uh, go away. Now we want militia down here. Uh, Bowman there, 148. Not, don't really want them at the moment. Now it'll take about three turns, I reckon, to get there. Maybe four turns. Yeah, four turns. So next turn we attack their uh, their place. Le Grand Vajage. So, I'm attacking Ravensdale. He's got 11 folks there. We'll give him a bit of a surprise, won't we? Oh, what are the pikemen? Oh, they look cool. They've got proper armor on and everything. Oh, shit. And they've got swordsmen who look... Ah, oh, they've got proper troops and everything. I don't have these proper troops. Okay, first of all, I want my... my uh, meet sh I mean, uh, completely legitimate normal troops on my front line. So they have better troops than me. They have 20 health. So do I have an attack... Uh, they got more. Looks like they got more everything. I don't know what all these numbers mean, but they mean something. And that counts for something. Let's see how far they can move. Okay. So we need desperately to start up some kind of front line here. Uh, could move from there now, keep him there. He can stay behind for now, he can move there, he can move there. Let's pass that turn. Ah! 
Damn, they use the ability called Force March, which means their units can move. That's just damn rubbish. So, first of all, zero to two damage, bloody hell. Yeah, their troops are tanky as balls compared to mine, apparently. Uh, which one of them represents defense? I don't know. Three, one, five, I'm looking at the wrong one, must be. First of all, let's heal the slinger there. do that. Get the meat shield in the way. Let's do the same over here. And this guy lets me reinforce down here. Don't think anyone else can move. No, that's about it at the moment. Let's end that turn. All I'm really worried about is these, um, I think my spearmen should be fine against these, uh, pikemen. It's just the militia are a bit shit. Very much shit. First of all, let's move you here before we, uh... So I want my healer to actually heal my main chap, because he's badly hurt. do that. Now I'll finish off him. The swordsman I am quite worried about. Move there. That's him. That means next time he'll be finished, but then he'll be replaced by another one. Damn. These these enemy troops are powerful compared to mine, at least. Is there anything I can friggin' ah oh, get reinforcements there? Right, we'll have to pass. No sound effects now for some reason. Slinger's dead. First of all, of course, you my main dude. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, it was a waste of a slinger. No damage there. One damage there. Whoa, this is not going well anymore. I'm going to lose this. Unless I'm supposed to lose this, and this is part of the tutorial, I don't know. Because it doesn't seem too far. I can't even get any of these units. Actually, that would be my bet is is a part of the tutorial to lose this battle. Okay, let's do three to five there. My three to five down went down to zero to two for some reason. Because screw me. Have they just gained... They gained stats. I, yeah, I think I'm definitely supposed to lose this. Um, let's hurt him. I'm gonna take as much of the arseholes down with me as I can. Okay, let's finish off this one. Mm, can't put spells, I don't know. Um,. Why well, have they got two buttons for next turn? Oh, next unit, okay. So the button for next unit is N. It's good to know. Would you like the spit swordsman though? They look 
The helm looks really weird, actually. Yes, I killed another one. Still can't win this, but I killed another one. Pretty much all my troops are dead now. I kill this fella. I killed him! Okay. Taking a lot of pain. He's dead. Oh, I've so lost this. Yeah, my damage goes... I don't know if it's affected by Morales. I don't know. My, my, yeah, my attack keeps going down, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this. Got two attacks then. Um, let's have a look. Let's try things. One damage. Yeah, I'm definitely supposed to lose this. I refuse. Why are they getting all these movement points? All these movement. Oh. One damage, really? Is it because morale's low? I don't know. Is the morale even low? It's Armor failure. They had they had four guys left. You're fatally wounded in combat. Just as consciousness was slipping away from you, you heard your teacher's voice calling your name. Then a bright flash behind behind you, and you saw dinner in front of you. It seems you're still alive. Looking at you slyly, Dunner says, I've got to keep an eye on you all the time, apprentice. From now on, try to stay alive. Consider it your next quest consider it my next quest for you. Dragging you out of the underworld isn't the most pleasant thing to do, trust me. Um alright, I'll try. Okay, I wasn't supposed to defeat that. Can I just get better troops? That's the reason I lost. And for some reason my attacks went really badly. Okay, let's um let's end there. Maybe I'll have shit troops next time I go there. Let's see. Can I upgrade to the next tier of awesomeness? No, I can't. Stuck on tier one troops. Okay. Right, let's grab um, some pikemen. I said, let's grab some pikemen. Let's put them to four. And composition your um, party. Um, Units influences you. Uh, so if you put units of opposite alignment in the same party, morale will decrease. If the party is composed of units in the same alignment, morale will increase. Neutral units have no impact on you. Um, okay, what what is their morale? What is their alignment? Lawful. And everyone else is neutral, pretty much. Okay. Let's just go all out spearmen. Let's not even bother with militia anymore. There we go. Damn, hope he hasn't got all his troops back again, because if he does, I'm friggin' screwed. There are five enemies. They're all the same health as well, which is quite good. Get the pikemen up front so we can just charge them like the crazy 
mercenary bastard he is. And yeah, let's just... Yeah. Yeah. Get the point in your archers, you can shoot. Okay, let's just... Yeah, see if we can go across here then, yeah. Sounds like a plan, Stan. Let's end that turn. Let's kill him. Range attacks now, I guess. Then, At the moment. Uh, yeah, it won't do anything. You can go right there. Okay, he's dead. Now, just the archers left. I killed my slinger, you little bastard. survived. How dare he. That short stat showed him. Go there and advance again. And again. And that turn for now. Slinger's dead. Slingers are useless. Do hardly any damage and they die easy. Guy is doomed to death, so there's not much thing you can do. Let's kill him. Okay, morale. Practically the whole province of Ravensdale is now under your dominion, and most of the people have taken shelter in a local fortress. What are your orders? Let's siege the little bastard. Hero Nastas is besieging enemy fortifications of Province of Ravensdale. The walls are damaged, but not enough to launch an assault. Turns out, um, turns required to breach the wall six. Continue. The Why so damn long? Um, yeah, continue the siege. They both do the same thing. Don't even know what gives you a choice of what to say when they both do exactly the same thing. Hmm, um, the walls are wide enough to breach the lunch. Let's assault. Just kill everyone inside. Ah, oh, shit, they got just a shit ton of archers, which they're gonna beat. Oh, this is not going to be fun. Okay. Advance, my faithful soldiers. Okay, lost the first unit. Nearly. So how do I get past the walls? This is why you should read the description, folks. Otherwise, you end up looking like an idiot. Let's try a magic missile. <laughs> yeah, the healer's dead. Ah, oh, hope you didn't hear that. Well, okay, I can't. 
don't know how to breach the actual walls. I don't... Ah! Here we go! There's a gate here then, I guess. Okay. So charge in, get hit this person in the face. Range that mm. range that person. with him. Okay. He's dead. Casualties are indeed heavy. Morale is among the most important attributes a unit has. High morale increases unit's attack power, while um, if unit's morale falls to zero, it will send its panic. Morale can can decrease during combat if the unit receives heavy wounds or an ally die in the hex next to it. If increases, uh, blah, 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 blah. okay, stuff happens basically. See if I go here, I might be able to use my spear, but never mind. Let's end that turn for now. Actually, let's end that turn. Okay, he died for no reason apparently. Charge! I lost like most of my forces attacking this thing. Didn't need to attack, could have continued the siege. But hey. I could just kill everyone inside. That sounds far more fun, doesn't it? What? You gotta be joking. Let's advance a little bit more. And he's dead. I lost four units to that battle. Five even. Get some maneuvering. Counter attack. Hit points. Hit points. Excellent job, apprentice. Now your soul lord of Lord and nearby land, the rightful ruler of the Shard, and so I consider your apprenticeship complete. I suggest we drink to the occasions. Let's open this special bottle of wine I've been saving. Wait, what shard? Finally, drink wine! You drink your wine and feel your mind darken. Your arms, your leg, and your legs, and your arms and your legs heavy like lead. The world swimming before you. You poisoned me. Well, I had to, but why? So that you wouldn't stop me from doing this. Dana produces a crisp from the old folds of his toga and drives it into your heart. A short pang pierces your body and everything darkens. Okay, so he, he resurrected me from the dead to assassinate me. Logic. This game. You find yourself in a very strange place, mirrors of stars burning in a pitch darkness. A whole ocean of dark fire is blazing far below, and far above the azure blue sky is shining. Or perhaps that's something other than the sky. This picture reminds you of something, but before you can put it together, a strange creature emerges from the light in front of you. Well, how did you like it? Did I do a good job of portraying the old fat dinner? I got into his character as well. I even... Who are you, you smelly little bastard? Boss, don't tell me your memory is failing you again. I don't feel like answering the same stupid question all over. The kind that you call philosophical for some reason. Really, don't you remember me at all? I'm Zah, a gremlin, uh, your lord and master. Master, you say? Then why are you calling me boss? Well, it's a figure of speech. Let me explain. No, let me explain. You're lying through your teeth. There's so much 
do you, so do you do remember me, boss? I knew you should, that you shook therapy would go do good in your mind, darkened by being bound to a mortal body. All right, so we we'll sorted that out. Yours are a gremlin, my servant, right? Sort of, boss. How do I begin perfect? I prefer the word assistant. So you little scamp. Were the old, were that old man Dana who taught me the, and then finished me off? Hey, take it easy. The idea was yours and yours alone. I was protecting you from the very beginning. Had I my way, I would have killed the moral in which body you were dwelling in the first acquaintance to deliver you and myself as well. I got admit from being confined to such a miserable material shape. What do I go to all that trouble for? To give poor Zara a hard time. Why else? As a rule, all you, all of your ideas come down to that, boss. Could you please be more serious? It's really very important for me to understand why I undertook all this, you little dick. All right, you said that in, under the rule of mortals, you need to find out that these mortals think, how they live, stuff like that. The easiest way to do that was try walking around in mortal skin for a while. I was going to rule mortals? Of course you're... You're more than that. You decided to create a whole world populated by mortals. A crazy undertaking, I dare say. But if you find that entertaining, who am I to object? So you decide to conquer the different shards floating around these astrals and put them together to form your own world. That's the idea you had in the genius brain of yours, or whatever. Is that what you think? Does that mean that I have to inhabit a mortal body on a new shard to conquer it? Boss, you're already a mass uh, massacrist. I can't say that word. Oh, is that just a bad joke? Why would you want to inhabit a mortal body again? Did you enjoy being born or dying? Or are you even attracted by the various petty pleasures like gluttony, alcohol, and sex? There's much easier and less troublesome ways to cook a shard. Just establish a settle there and convert one of your models wandering around into your faithful servant and then do all the dirty work for you. Moreover, he'll consider himself lucky and take great pride in being entrusted with a great mission. You were one of, one of them not so long ago, so I shouldn't have to explain these things to you. Alright, you can be free for now. Uh, but I have several other questions. Who am I? You're asking me, boss? Um, do you see anyone else I'm asking around here? Well, do I know? Maybe it's a rhetorical question addressed to your own self. Or you decided to write down a poem. Starting with such a rare and original phrases, who am I? Or maybe quit playing the fool and answer my damn questions. How should I know, boss? You never had the habit of pouring in your soul out of me or whatever. Is that how you have it in place of your soul? You're my boss, that's all I know. Alright. What do you think I am? Do you really want to know, boss? You're a tyrant who makes Zar answer complicated and confusing questions. And sometimes even worse than that, for instance, you maybe dwell in the body of a mortal and an old one and long gone limp to boot. You, can you please give me a serious answer, you little dick? Oh, well, you could be some kind of demigod or higher spirit, the spirit of in charge of Karis Roach spawning and the Shadowbury Seas, perhaps or the patron spirit of the hollow dwellers from the Cuckafir woods. One day you climbed to a deep hollow and fell into sleep. Then you woke up, and having forgotten what kind of spirit you were, you decided to grab a... Uh, any other smart suggestions? Sure, perhaps you're a formal mer mortal. Higher beings played a bad joke on you for granting you enormous power. For instance, you used to be a barbarian. Your tribe invaded... Oh, to have you finished. No, well, I just... Oh, you can shut up now. Yeah. All right, enough talking. You are free for now. Okay. Oh, look at me. I'm all fiery now. A beginner, apparently. There's all these different places. So it's that one that's got some stuff in. The lookout tower. Could attack there. So I choose all these places to attack. So this is my one. And that's me, Mr. So that explains the red hair on the model. He's all a bit... He still looks nothing like his model in the game. Summon the gremlin. Statistic screen. So I guess I have to conquer all these and I'm able to... Um, oh, each shard contains a sequence of construction in certain buildings. In addition, shards give their owners additional advantages in military campaigns and serve as sources of energy. You can try to assume, um, subdue any of the shards into your world. To do so, select the shard and click the attack button. So this one gives me... Um, uh, oh, that's an item. Lookout Tower, Bandit Layer, Sage's Guild, 
What's the lookout tower do? Uh, okay. Thieves Guild. Uh, opponent's income and uh, lowest population being capital for play one. I get uh, Warriors Guild. I get Patrolmen. Uh, which I guess from the picture are us. Uh, pikemen, I get Church. Theatre. And that. Or I get some mana stuff. Barracks. More experience. Uh, stuff. Uh, look at me. Ah, uh, sorry if this is. Oh, and they only oh, move around. That doesn't make things annoying. Okay, first, oh, I get archers there, Forester's Guild. First of all, though, I want this Warrior's Guild. I want better troops. And I get the church, I suppose, which can do more morale. And the Thieves' Guild, which sounds kind of cool. So let's attack there. Let's go competent. So, it turns out I'm actually a god who just tricked himself into thinking he wasn't. And has a gremlin. So that's kind of cool. I do like having gremlins. I wish I had one in real life. It would be uh, somewhat useful, I imagine, having a personal gremlin. Even if he was an annoying bastard who only spoke in text. Let's have a look at this world, eh? Let's have a look at it. You're on a new shire now. To unite it with your world, you have to defeat the opponents with a local lords or immortal masters. First of all, you need to hire a hero. Enter your stronghold by clicking the stronghold button. You can see heroes of different classes on the top left of the screen. By pointing at the class name, you can read information by using the hero and hire if you wish. Keep in mind that heroes cost more... Uh, okay, each one costs more than the last one. Ah, oh, so... That whole beginning bit was it was absolutely nothing. That wasn't my guy. It changes. Nasters, he I don't get to play him anymore. I definitely have a different hero per shard. So I have three. I have a choice between a warrior, a scout, a commander, and a wizard. I'm gonna try a wizard because I haven't done that before. Wizards possess a great number of spells. The skills are focused on enhancing the power of the incantations. They can use wands and common mundane items, but no armor, shields, or many weapons. Just hire that little bastard there. Open <laughs> another wizard, I need 5,000. Shit. No orders. Okay, let's go back to the map. He looks angry and evil as well. I can't hire anybody. He can't get hardly anyone in his army either. Okay, I think this um, is a good place to uh, end this part of the Let's Play. And until next time, I will try to conquer the Shard and hopefully we'll find something interesting. We'll conquer all the Shards around this area, kill some people, and do some general stuff. But for now, I really need to sleep because I am absolutely knackered. So until next time, this has been Ebor Masters of the Silly Buggers. Goodbye.